Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, yesterday I put up kind of a short video because of some stuff that was going on. The video called My Response to Disrespect. Recently I've noticed, well as of this recording recently at least, there have been a lot of people involved whether in my life or Amber's life that have been extremely disrespectful to one or the other. And not just the two of us either, to people who are involved with us as well. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail on any of this just because I'm not going to... I'm not going to put myself in a position where I rat anybody out, but I'm going to at least talk about more about how my where my thoughts lie on that front. So different individuals have their own certain problems medically. Some people suffer from uh, schizophrenia. Some people suffer from epilepsy. Some people suffer from medical uh, depression, which also will add on things like anxiety and all like, all there, there are several different examples to this but one thing in the area that Amber and I live in that I've noticed is people don't have a tendency to respect that you'll have those circumstances and people don't take it into consideration they'll just like either act like act like you're a normal, normal person if something slightly is off they don't consider detail or anything like that um or people will go up and just pretty much laugh. If, if someone goes, and this is common in this state in gen where I live in general, where someone will have a panic attack and suddenly people just start laughing at them. Like, yeah, I know. To a lot of the world, this is just, people are smart enough to like frown at this and go, that's horrible. But unfortunately, where I live, there are a lot of people who don't care, or at least don't consider it. They're, they're very, we've got, where I live, there are a lot of people who are very, very inconsiderate. That's reality as it is. I hate it. And I mean, I, I despise it. I don't like the fact that people don't look at someone and go, okay, what are they going through? I should probably respect that and go about a go take things in a way where it at least takes what they're going through into consideration. Instead, they'll confront someone of whatever this particular individual would want. There are actually some places in the country uh, in the country I live in in general where this is a big problem anyway. Where I currently live, though, the state of Utah in U.S., where I live, unfortunately, has been so bubbled in for so long compared to everywhere else in the world that it's like now that it, that bubble has finally popped, all the bad that was outside of it is just swarming in. And now the place is like some kind of gathering for those who love hating on other individuals or hurting other individuals. It's sad to watch, to say the least. And as someone who hates seeing people hurt and when is around someone who's hurt for long enough they'll get hurt, um, it's painful for me to see this happen to a place that had potential of being very free of this kind of stuff that ended up having some of the worst people like this. I've come across several. Amber has. Our friend Aaron has. Um, it's like these people are like attached to... It's like people who are good are like magnets to those who are really, really bad people. Or toxic. Let's go with that word instead. Really toxic people. People who don't respect other people's lives. A good example of someone like this 
um, would be a lot of managers in this state, a lot of fast food managers. Now, fast food managers, are, managers in general are very well known to be a-holes, to be just cruel people. But what I'm about to tell you takes the cake over a lot of them. There was a manager recently that... Amber had dealt with, who pretty much approached someone, screamed in their face, like, if the microphone was the individual, I'd be the manager that I'm referring to. Yeah, that close, and screamed F you in their face after pretty much hating on everyone they were working with even though the per this particular manager doesn't even officially work at the store they were working at at the moment. And this caused a panic attack in the person. Um, I'm not going to say who the person is out of blunt respect, since this is a very big deal. Caring for other people's medical circumstances for the person themselves to tell, not for me. Now, if I was that person, I'd openly say, yes, it was me, but it wasn't. So I'm not going to say who it was. This person ended up having a panic attack and in the long haul went home. Did not go back to that shift. Luckily, the manager at that store is... The actual general manager of that particular store was very understanding about it because, well, realistically, there have been apparently from what Amber's told me, because it is the same store that she worked at, um, she has told me that there are six different managers from six different stores all ha hate working this per with this person. Every now and then you do find a manager like this, and people like that, they're horrible. They, they, it's like they don't care. It's like something in their... like Normally the, uh, the reason for this is there's something in that person's life that causes them to act this way, and they'll lash out at anything possible. But it doesn't make it right. It actually is, and it's something to frown upon. If someone's going to treat you like crap, why spread that to someone else? Why not look at it and go, this person treats me this way, I'm going to make sure to not do that to make me the better person. It's just something that I find ridiculous, especially when it comes to the fact that, for the most part, this is directed towards people with medical problems. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Whoa, well, that's impeccable timing. Um, looks like I have a reason to leave this here anyway. Um, thanks for watching this video, everyone. If you agree with what I said, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any other discussion and rants uh, that um, I've done? Uh, click the link over here where you'll find the entire playlist. Or if that's not quite floating your boat, why not click the link on the other side where YouTube will give you something. <laughs> I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone. Bye-bye, peoples. That. See you guys later. Bye.